Howdy, howdy, everyone. It is LaRon, your certified IET trichologist and your holistic hair loss practitioner here in Pleasantville, New Jersey. So we have health and hair talk. Now, whenever you see me, whatever it is that I'm going to talk about is always wrapped around how it affects your hair. It could be blood pressure. It could be digestion and elimination. It could be hormones. But everything that I talk about is always going to be wrapped around how it affects your hair. So today we are talking about GLP-1s and how they eventually affect your hair. GLP-1s, before I get any nasty comments and responses in my inbox, I get it. I understand. Your doctor, your endocrinologist, your weight loss provider is finding a way to help you reduce your weight reduce your blood sugar, reduce your insulin, reduce your metabolic resistance. I get it. I understand it. However, I'm only here today to talk about how it affects your hair. And when it affects your hair, it affects me. And I'm your holistic hair loss practitioner. As a trichologist, when clients visit me, I always need to help them understand how everything in the body affects how their hair grows. If it affects your blood supply, if it affects how well you take in food, manage food, digest food, eliminate food, break down into amino acids used for fuel and energy, it's going to affect your health and your hair, which is where I come in. GLP-1s, they affect gastric emptying times. Now, many of the clients that come see me let me know that they're often full when they're on GLP-1s and they don't feel the need to eat because it shuts down ghrelin and it shuts down that hunger hormone that is activated during digestion. Ghrelin kind of lets you know, okay, it's time to eat and when to back off from the food. But the GLP-1 reduces gastric emptying time. So when you eat, the food lands in the esophagus. Where it goes is it sits right in the stomach and it sits and it sits and it waits. And what happens with food that's left out in the air. It develops bacteria, it starts breaking down, it starts to smell, it attracts flies, and guess what? That food is just sitting in your stomach, just sitting there, hanging out, chilling. And it's causing you, often, bad breath. It's causing issues for you because now you're not digesting it properly and you're not forcing it down for elimination. So that's one of the things that happens with GL GLP-1s. The second thing is, after it leaves the stomach, eventually it may leave the stomach undigested and it may travel to the intestines undigested where it causes problems with hormone synthesis. Now the food needs to be digested so that it can be prepared for elimination and for use for the body to reabsorb it into the bloodstream so that you can use it for energy. However, because of the problems with digestion and elimination, it causes you to not be able to eliminate it properly. And the food is not used properly for hormone synthesis, for protein breakdown. If we can't break down the protein so that it can be changed into amino acids used for cellular hair growth and cellular regeneration, if you affect how you digest and eliminate food, you're gonna affect how well your hair grows. Also, it interferes with insulin production and your body's ability to use insulin. You're also interfering with that hormone synthesis, which means hormonal disturbances for the top of your head. So whenever you're having problems with hair growth, thinning, diffusion, problems with hair growth, and it looks like you're seeing a little bit more hair, I mean, a little, little bit more scalp and less hair, you have to think about what it is that you're contributing to the situation. So you have the GLP-1, the stomach, your inability to eliminate properly, because a lot of my clients who are on GLP-1s, they also have trouble going to the bathroom. So then you're gonna need Miralax, you're gonna need support, you're gonna need magnesium, you're gonna need things to boost it along. And often fiber alone will do the trick. So what happens is, like I said earlier, you're developing bad breath because it's just sitting in the stomach because of the slow gastric emptying times and it also has an interference with peristaltic action. That's the ability of the contractility in the intestine so that you can poop. What happens is that food is just sitting here in the gut 
and it's being reabsorbed back into the bloodstream causing leaky gut. So you're reabsorbing all of that toxicity causing you eczema, causing you psoriasis, causing you autoimmune issues, issues, often causing things that cause problems for your hair, such as things like alopecia related issues and areata that comes from gut issues and other factors. So I hope this helps. If this is something that you are in fact dealing with, again, I am not saying that you should not be on GLP-1s, but your endocrinologist, your physician, your blood pressure doctor, none of those physicians care about your hair. They care about your health and you getting well, reducing metabolic resistance, reducing your diabetes load. They're worried about your health. I'm worried about your health and your hair. And when this happens and it affects this, then you're gonna to have to see me or someone like me. If I can help you find additional ways to clear up your body's need for GLP-1s, help you lose weight, if you need help with nutrition, if you need help with your hair loss, if it's interfering with your hormonal balance and anything else, please give me a call. You can find more information, hairlosscenternj.com. Again, I'm LaRon from SBO Hair Loss in Pleasantville, New Jersey.